Good morning and happy holidays to everybody. Um, I'm sitting in the front seat today. I hope that all of you are well and um, content. And um, I'm going to talk about Blue Eddy. I've talked about Blue Eddy before. You know that I have a Blue Eddy 50, which is 500 watts. I have a Blue Eddy um, 50, 150, which is 1500 watts. And uh, for Christmas, I got a Blue Eddy 2000 watt, which is a Blue Eddy 200, AC 200P is the exact name of it. And I think we need to have a practical discussion about these. Um, I got the bigger one because the little one wasn't giving me enough to run my, um, I mean, it was lasting, but because of the weather and no sun, it, it, it uh, was getting really low and I would uh, go and charge it every weekend over at my son's and, you know, do my shower or whatever. Um, so my wish was for a 2000 and I thought that's going to save me. I can run my little heater. I can run my um, little uh, electric throw and that keeps me cozy and warm. Um, so I was thrilled. I was thrilled that was my wish, wanted it, and so um, it was part of my Christmas, and I got one. Fabulous price, and um, yeah, fabulous price. Best price I've ever seen. So I got it. It weighs 61 pounds, so my son has to move it, and I can't move it at all. I can't budge it. So once it's in position, it's in position. So let's do a little practical use. I live in a van. This is a very interesting system. The other systems were very basic. Um, the 300 were all my lights and everything I wanted. It was easy to handle. Uh, it just didn't run a lot of electrical things like um, a skillets or anything else. But lights, which I have a ton of lights and I love light in the back. I don't like the dark. And I have a black van, so it's, it's pretty dark in the back. So I like light. And yes, I have battery operated and I have solar. I really like an electric light because it just, the batteries get low and then it gets dim and, and you're still, you know, in the darkness. So the, the uh, 50, the Blue Eddy 50 could run all my lights for days. Loved it. Love all of my Blue Eddies, by the way. Love them all. Um, I'm learning on the 2000 watt, the Blue Eddy 200. And it's been a, um, a big experience. It's a big learning process. You would think it would be the same, it's not. It's not the same. The more technical you get, the larger the systems you get, the more you have to learn about it. So I'm thinking, oh, this 2000, I have 2000 watts. This is fabulous. I can run everything electric. Blah, 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 blah. Well, um, you can't. And I'm going to explain it to you. This is a computer. It is a brain. And brains take energy. And um, my first night, my first 10 hours with my 2000 watt Blue Eddy, I used 40% of that Blue Eddy not running anything electrical. So, what I figured out, see, I'm used to leaving my AC on, the button on, and then I can flip my lights on and off whenever I want, so I never turn it off, and um, my previous Blue Eddies have never used anything because they're not brains. This is a, a computer, this is a brain. So this brain needs energy, and what I discovered my first 10 hours, because I just left the button on, didn't I, I used my light one time, left it on for like 10 hours. I was in work and, you know, during the day I didn't need the light, and it's, uh, but I didn't turn it off. Well, the brain, which is a computer, uses 50 watts an hour to run itself. The Blue Eddy itself needs 50 watts an hour. It used 500 watts for itself to do nothing because I didn't use any electricity. So that's a huge learning process. 
uh, I mean, so I have to keep the, the it off now. I mean, it will <coughs> it will run my microwave. It'll run whatever I want it to run. But I have to continually remember that it's using 50 watts itself. So if my electric blanket is using 116 watts, then it's now using 156 watts or 166 watts. So that shortens the time that you have to, to use it. So what I'm learning is I have to keep that button off. I can only turn that button on when I want to use something. Then I have to immediately turn it off because it's using 50 watts. So within 24 hours, less than 24 hours, I'm, I'm down to 50%. <laughs> because my refrigerator uses a it used in the 10 hours 300 watts so I used 800 watts I was close to 800 watts in 10 hours for nothing <laughs> and there's clouds so it's not recharging <laughs> so uh, it's something to to think about the uh, the thousand watt one and the and the 500 watt one which is uh, their surges so it's 300 watts 500 watt uh, 300 watts, 1,000 watts, and 2,000 watts. So 300 is called 500 watts with a surge. The 1,000 watts is called a 1,500 watt with a 1,500 watt surge, but it's only 1,000 watts you can use. I'm try I, I've explained this before. But the 2,000 watts is actually 2,000 watts you can use, pure 2,000 watts you can use, which is more than enough since I've been living on 1,000 watts, except that it's a brain. <laughs> So, that brain needs energy. So, I'm, I'm giving you some practical advice on, on some of this. Um, now, this 2,000 watt, I can add batteries to and bring it up to 8,000 watts, which would run a, a small house shortly. But even in a small house, you're going to have to shut that AC. <laughs> it's using 50 watts. So, it's a learning process of how you want to use these things. I'm going to be talking to Blue Eddie about it because I I know it's like a mini computer. It gives you so much data and so much stuff, which is interesting, but I'd rather not have that. I'd rather have the usage of the watts than all this information. <laughs> so it's kind of interesting. Um, I, I don't know how I feel about it. Um, I, I have to adjust to it and I have to figure out how to work it out during the winter because the winter months are the hardest months for solar. And we're having lots of cloudy days and foggy days and days I don't have any any power whatsoever. I mean, you know, for the no solar coming in. So you have to live off what you have. So you have to be very economical with your electricity. It's not like a house where you can just drain all this electricity, use it all, and be unaware. Every minute you have to be aware of your electricity, of what you're using, what you're doing. It's just like water. I have to be aware of how much water I have, how much I'm using. Your whole lot, you are so much more aware of what you use and how you use it. Even to the point where, I mean, your own personal needs. Um, if you go to the bathroom, where do you go? And if you use yours in, in your van, you still have to get rid of all that. I mean, it's a very makes you very aware of everything you do, everything you use, how you're very exacting about what you do, your movements, uh, where you put things. Um, I'm a little crowded right now because I went a little crazy for Christmas and I got a lot of Christmas gifts. I've got most of the gifts out of the van by now, but there was a point I could hardly move because I had so many gifts from my grandchildren and my son and I was going to make everything, which I did. And then I bought two. Oh my goodness. But anyway, that's because I'm working and, and there's so many deals that, you know, I got uh, an air fryer on Black Friday for $15, a bullet for $15, a little mini fridge for $15, which it, it, all these things can be used by my family, I think, you know. But um, this solar business is, is uh, I'm still learning, and, and I've been studying this. I'm going on five years now, and honestly, I know about teeny this much. Really, it's it's just amazing. So um, 
I'm just giving you some practical uses for this and telling you about this Blue Eddy. So when you decide to get a solar generator, you're going to have to learn its little uh, interest, your little things that it does and how it works and what it uses. It's, it's kind of like a, a brain. I call them brains. This one is a brain. The other two are no brains. They just pure energy. But this is a brain. So, uh, <coughs> sorry. So my wish for 2000 came true, but I didn't know how to use it properly. So this will be a learning experience, and I'll continue to talk about it. Um, I just wanted to tell you uh, what I'm learning right now and about solar, a little bit more about solar. I mean, I should be talking more about living in a van. And um, I don't know how to explain some things, how, how different it is. It is very stress-free. I'm very content in doing it. I am not unhappy. I don't have difficulty finding places. Um, I pretty much stay in the same places because they're public roads and, and there's no signs of no parking and I'm not bothered and um, there are other people here with me. Just one, or, sometimes one, sometimes two. Um, so I, I don't have those problems. Uh, they do exist. I just don't have them right now. But um, there are so many other things that you have to learn and you have to to deal with and uh, every day I'm learning something new organization is the most important thing you know not having a lot of stuff I have a lot of stuff and um, but I organize it very well <laughs> but eventually I'm gonna have to go through it and get some rid of some of this stuff um, working you have to have a lot more clothes I started out with you know just uh, three pairs of pants and and four short shirts um, and then, you know, a couple of sweaters, etc. My clothes were very minimal. I've now increased them because I need more clothes at work. And I do my um, laundry, which I have to drive to, a laundromat. And I do that once every two weeks. So um, I have to have enough clothing to last two weeks. I mean, there's just so much to learning about living in a van. So I think if you ask me questions about... I'm overwhelmed by information, and I can't seem to get it out uh, in a proper way to you. So if you ask me questions and you are interested in knowing things, I think that'll help me um, get better at the videos of informing you on how things actually work, because I'm pretty honest about everything. So I want to wish you happy holidays. I'm going to try and do one or two more videos before Christmas, but I'm very busy at, at work. and. Um, just living you know it takes a lot to live in a van you take a couple hours every morning to clean and straighten and make the bed and and get myself properly cleaned and teeth brushed and everything um, what would have taken me 30 minutes in a house takes me about two hours in a van so th these kinds of things I don't know if you're interested in I I'm not sure what everybody's interested in I still have to get back to um, other portions of my life but um, I, I'm just not ready yet. I've, you know, I've done quite a bit. So I'm making notes and then I will eventually get back to telling a lot more about the things that, <clears throat> that I've done. And, uh, but I refer right now, I'm just telling you about Blue Eddie and ask me questions. What would you like to know? Give me suggestions on what is it that you're interested in. And uh, right now it's a busy season. And I'm sure you're all busy. So I hope that you watch this. And I hope you have a good holiday. I'll see you next time. And thank you for watching.